Good Sunday morning, YouTube. How's it going this morning? It's Sunday, eh, 10.30ish. And today we're going to be working on Old Red because if I work on Mighty Mouse anymore, I'm going to burn to the ground. So, we're going to be doing the fuel system on Old Red today. Let's get over here. I was thinking about putting the front end on it. But there's still some stuff I want to do under the hood without the grill and stuff on it to make it easier. I'll probably start doing that sometime this next week. Hopefully, after I get the fuel system done, then I can move and put the grill on, put the, the uh, radiator in it, and we'll be ready to go. But here's my conundrum. Let's walk out here a little further. And there's my nemesis there. It's going to be a good truck. I know it is. But it's just pissing me off. Anyway, we're here at the back end of Old Red. Now then, my conundrum. Let's flip this around. Besides the bed being full of shit. Um, do I use this, the tank that's in it? Or do I you do I go ahead and cut the floor and put the fuel cell up there close to the cab? Anyway, here's the tank. This is a Ram Charger tank. I have a Ram Charger, and they will fit in these these D100 trucks. You do have to make provisions either in the bed, or like this guy did, actually made a filler neck on the side and the back, and then covered up the other filler neck, which is nice. My problem is is I gotta drop this tank. So I can figure out which fuel line is which fuel line, so I can mount my I can mount my uh, pump somewhere back here in the air where it can where it can breathe, and then probably use that that metal hose running up. I'm really thinking about just going ahead and pulling this though and putting my fuel cell in it. Cutting a hole in the bed, but man, this bed is so nice. I hate doing that. Well, guys, I got the tank out, and I decided to go ahead and use the fuel cell because I'm going to lower the truck. And I'll show you something. Waste not, want not. Okay, we have our tank. Holly pump going into the Jeep on a battery with, a, with an electrical switch. And... Let's see if we can get this. Yep. See, she's filling it up. So, waste not, want not. Anyway, we'll be putting the, the fuel cell in it. But, yeah. I wouldn't want to waste that fuel with fuel being $4 a gallon. Alright. We'll come back. Okay. And we're back. So, I've gotten a fuel cell uh, cut in and mounted and some things cut out from underneath and i'm fixing to get the uh, filter and the uh, holly fuel pump and get those mounted all right let's turn around and look okay so there's the fuel cell sitting there in the middle it's centered and then there's that okay we'll go underneath here we are underneath and there's where the the fuel cell comes in, and I got my my ho my uh, fuel line coming here. Now on this back wall here, I'll mount my fuel pump, and then over here, and you really can't see this very well, but over here, I'll mount the uh, filter vessel. That hose runs all the way to the front of the truck, then it'll come up here, and I'll have my Fuel pressure regulator right here, and then we'll jump across to the carburetor. Okay, I got the Holly fuel pump mounted. Come over here. Well, this is really hard to film underneath here, but there's my filter and my cutoff for changing the filter. I like having this valve here, so that way, whenever I have to change this filter, I can just shut that valve. 
and don't have to worry about draining the, the tank tank up there but yeah that's the setup for fuel system and I gotta get some more fittings thought I had enough but the old fittings I have won't work with the new hose I have so anyway I'm gonna just have to start there and then run up to the front well guys it's the end of the day and I'm tired well I say end of the day it's four o'clock um but let's flip this camera around okay so well shit there's fuel cell in there I still gotta strap it down um I was in the process of it and realized that straps need to go somewhere different because I'm running into a cross brace so I'm gonna have to do something different with the straps. Um, and I still gotta make it to where it won't slide side to side or front to back. So I'm not sure what I what I can do to do that. I was gonna bolt it in the front here and then bolt it in the back and then put some angle iron here. Keep it going from side to side, but I had to figure out something else. But anyway, I got to a point where that's all I was going to do because the fittings I have will not work with this new fuel line I got. I'm going to have to order some fuel uh, fuel fittings. And then next week I can get, get the fuel up here. And once I get the fuel up, um, I can put the front of the truck back together oh, see big gaping hole front of the truck back together put the radiator in it hoses on it get the uh get the belts for it and then uh should be ready to rock and roll there's a few other things i want to do i got a few other things i want to do i got door seals and things like that put on it um and i still have to build the mount for the uh, shifter. Tonight, I'm going to be ordering my lower control arms and flip kit. So next week, we'll be lowering it also. After we get done with all the fuel and everything else underneath the truck, I'm going to drop it. It should look mean. But until later, guys, y'all keep turning wrenches. Later.